How y'all doing? It's Carl Crawford, CEO of 1501 Certified out of Houston, Texas. And we just want to give a big shout out to Hip Hop Weekly for having us on board. Hip Hop Weekly cover, Hip Hop Weekly cover, Hip Hop Weekly cover, 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 cover. Hip Hop Weekly All Access, this is Brianna, and we're here live today with 1501 Certified Entertainment. We've got the label in the building. Welcome to Hip Hop Weekly. Introduce yourselves individually. Uh, how you doing? I'm Carl Cropper, CEO of 1501. Okay. What's going on? I'm K. Annalisa, new artist, signed to 1501. I'm All right. D-Raw, signed to 1501 from Houston, Texas, and we're happy to be here today. What's up, y'all? I'm Rayleigh Rose, um, also from Houston, Texas. Yeah, we out here, 1501. Okay. Well, Houston is definitely deep in the building today. Again, we do appreciate you for checking in, uh, taking the time to speak to Hip Hop Weekly. I guess we can start with you, the CEO. You know, let us know how you even, you know, got started in the industry. Uh, <clears throat> well, I have a friend of mine who's already uh, had a little success early on in the music business. He managed Paul Wall and uh, Mike Jones. So when I retired from baseball, which I had a 15 year career there, mm -hmm. um, I came on and retired, called him up. And, um, you know, told them about starting 1501. And from that point on, we just, we just worked on that. We never looked back. Okay. All right. And so, and you you launched, how, how long have you been in? Uh, uh, in? About like two years. Two years. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so you definitely, definitely uh, fresh in the game. But, I mean, you building an empire like this, I mean, it's just, you know, you're skilled for it and you're definitely making it happen. I said, I, uh, we have a group, couple of blueprints to look from already. You know, I'm from Houston with um, Swisher House, Rap a Lot, Screw Real Quick, stuff like that. So uh, it was easy for me to just apply myself to the new day and uh, create this new movement that we're trying to do. Okay. What are some things that you look for in your artists when you're signing them to a label? Uh, I'm just looking for um, that it factor. You know, of course, they have to be talented on the mic, you know, uh, rap. <clears throat> um, you know, just something that kind of makes me drawing into a mess when I'm checking them out. Okay, okay. And so I'm really feeding versatility. Um, first and foremost, I want to put out there, you know, I'm a boss ass mom, you know, I'm a boss ass wife, um, and you can still have a career. You see what I'm saying? I want to mm -hmm. put out there, um, you're a you could be a lady sometimes. You could be wretched sometimes. You know, the my, when my music projects to the people, I want to give them different emotions. So my vibe is kind of like uh, a different genre. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's it's a multitude of things. So I don't mm -hmm. want to just categorize it as one thing. So I just want to give make people tap into all different sides of their emotions with my music. Okay, what are you working on right now? So I have a single um, called Popeyes, mm -hmm. as well as Meow. And uh, as you can hear, both of the titles of the songs are out there. So it's something to look into. Um, they're high. We're pushing them in the clubs right now. So be on the lookout for both of those. Okay. Okay. All right. Introduce yourself. I'm d -Rob. You know, uh, I just signed to a live group. Okay. And you've been in it since you were 13. Right. Okay. Right. Tell the people, you know, what kind of vibes we can expect out of your music. You know, what are you giving to the people? I mean, you know, you're going to get raw from me. It's just, it's just all me, myself. You know, nothing fabricated when it comes to my music. You know, uh, my versatile, you know, uh, just depending on how I feel. Okay. All right. And what what are you pushing right now? Uh, right now, we're just working on the single. I got two singles coming out soon. Mm -hmm. I don't know the date yet, but it's coming. Okay, and who are some of your influences that inspired you? Um, you know, Cap, and um, Jerry, Drake, you know, just okay. because he's been in the game for so long. Okay, all right. So, uh, talk to the people about, you know, what, what do you want to leave behind your legacy? And, you know, are you in this for the long run, or is this something yeah, yeah. to, okay. Well, I'm definitely in this for a long run, but I want to leave behind just like, just be yourself throughout this, this fake industry, you know what I'm saying? Just stay true to yourself, stay home. Definitely, definitely. Okay. All right. And we can, you know, get you to talk, introduce yourself. Yes, ma'am. Um, my name is Rayleigh Rose, and I'm an R&B artist, signed to 1501. 
been here for a little bit, you know, and we're just pushing some of my music and our take on the rose here. Okay. All right. And what's your take? It's called Sounds of a Rose. Okay. So we're looking forward to putting that out, like, early 2020. Okay. Start the year off, right? Okay. What inspired your uh, take, Sounds of a Rose? Um, just my life and mm-hmm. just growing and, you know, evolving my sound and, you know, finding out, like, who I am truly as an artist. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, as far as you being an R&B artist, um, you know, it's a lot of, you know, artists out, great artists out, such as yourself. Um, how do you, you know, what makes you different and stand out amongst the others that are out right now? I would say, like, my personality, for sure. Like, I want to have my own TV show type okay. shit. <laughs> like, okay. about my life, my versatility, um, and just, you know, my vibe as an artist. Okay. Okay. All right. So, Carl, um, these are the current, um, your current three that you have on the, on the label right now. Okay. Um, are you looking to, like, of course, keep it growing, or is it like a boutique label? It's all about growing, you know. Like you said, we want to build an empire, you know. I came to um, start this label because I want every um, talent that needed to be seen or needed a platform to have one. So we didn't put a number or a cap on that. We just said whoever comes, we would, you know, we would try to you know, work on me. And so, you know, we started with Dee, you know, we started with Megan. She opened up the door, and now, you know, mm. we want to keep 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 coming in through the door. Right, definitely, definitely. Okay. All right, was there anything else you guys are pushing? Any, like, merchandise? You know, I know you said you're trying to uh, get into acting or anything like that. Anything else you, you know? Follow anything? me on Instagram, Kayanalisa. K O N A dot Lisa and be on the lookout for Popeyes and Meow because Popeyes also has a visual that's dropping as well. So follow me on Instagram and keep updates on all that. Okay. Y'all can follow me on Instagram at D dot official and then uh, on Twitter is follow list and be on the lookout. Right now I got our problems and cars on official and uh, long man. Y'all can follow me um, on Instagram at Rose Rayley and Rayley Rose on everything else. And go get that Friday out now on all platforms. And be on the lookout for Sounds of a Rose coming soon. Okay. And leave your social media. Yeah. Go follow the page 1501 underscore certified underscore entertainment where you can get the latest news about these guys, um, current pictures and videos and stuff like that. And uh, just stay in tune with what's going on with the new wave. Okay, definitely, definitely. Well, you know, we're definitely going to be on the lookout and, you know, we're excited for, you know, what's, you know, the future, you know, what lies ahead. And we do appreciate you guys for checking in and taking the time to speak to Hip Hop Weekly. No problem. Thanks for having us. No problem.